Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on an AP Shaco jungle. Our team is AD heavy this game, so I didn't feel like playing him AD. First things first, you wanna get a box down around the 34 second mark. Your box is on a 16 second cooldown and you wanna get your, your for your camp down at the 50 second mark. So you don't really wanna lay it any later than 34, 35 seconds. This is gonna help you to uh, ward off invades, stop that type of thing. We got this one down around 52, 53 seconds, so a little bit later than ideal. We're going to get two boxes on Raptors. We're going to get one box on uh, Red Buff as well. And we shouldn't need a leash, which is nice. It lets our laners get there early. They can get lane prio. And the enemies don't necessarily know where you start because Shaco can start on uh, blue side. doesn't have to start red side. For our last box, we're going to get it down right here on Red Buff. We're gonna get it down right there and it should be fine now we're gonna go for all backstabs to maximize our damage overall i will say ad shaco is more consistent than ap shaco i think ap shaco is more fun and can be a bit faster tempoed as well since we laid our initial box a little late that's why we had a delay with this box this is what it should look like it gets feared into it you don't want to have to smite it you want to have your smite for the uh, golems. The golem does a lot of damage. So we're going to take that. We're going to box. We're going to hop over. Auto attack. It's going to fear it off of us. We won't even take a hit initially. And then for our next box, we want to make sure all the medium golems are only one auto attack left. About one auto attack. And then the box will literally finish the camp. So the camp should just die from here. If you watch it box finishes it all off we'll come top you should be level three around the time all the laners are level two we're gonna try to hold on to our uh, e for as long as possible you want to save your e to execute it does more damage that way i don't think this guy can kill me he has no damage he's dead i have water walking he's literally dead now yeah, he's a goner. Holy crap. This game's over, man. It's actually over. There's no coming back for them now. Once you get a lead going like this, it's actually toasted. He's likely to come back. Can't believe he thought he could kill me. So your auto attack's slow whenever your E isn't on cooldown, and your E's in massive execute. I'm gonna bop her with that. She actually lived. I'm shocked. She... He ran into my box. I might actually be able to kill him. He's only level two and Ramus is awful early game. Yeah, he, he's in trouble. We got our slows on him from red buff and from our E. He's in trouble. He's gonna die if he doesn't flush. All right, he's alive for now. I'm gonna hold on to my Q so the Sandra doesn't kill us. She runs into box. It's gonna do some good damage to her. And I still have Ramus in my chokehold. Any jungler you can solo, either off meta or a low tier jungler or a weak early game jungler. It's a really good opportunity for Shaco since he's so oppressive early on. Uh, I'll probably just go for opposite side scuttle. I'll leave that ward there. Bot lane's very neutral. Your early game damage on Shaco is solid, but it's not solid enough to fight meta junglers. That's why you have to go ignite. If you're going to fight something that has any kind of self-healing, like a Zinzao or a Warwick, if you don't have Ignite, you have 0% chance. Got our box down right there. I uh, don't know why the box is not attacking him. It's a little confusing. Maybe the pink word deactivates it. I guess that's what happened. Because it didn't actually help me there at all. I'm going to go ahead and just poke him with it. We need to get some damage on this guy. Let me go ahead and just take this. Good Vagar cage. Might be able to kill Lissandra. Vagar went Predator, that's awesome. We're gonna max our E first. We're gonna Q get box down, backstab, E. She's dead. This game is going, this is ridiculous. You'll normally only get one to two kills max in your first clear on Shaco. This is just, it's a lot. I'm actually going to reset. We're sitting on so much gold. Ramus has boots as well. 
AP Shake was actually really good against Ramus because Ramus wants to stack armor items. This was a really good game to play AP Shaco. I don't know why it's not showing the recommended AP items. I would like to go Rocket Belt, but uh, yeah, we'll go. Yeah, yeah, we'll go Rocket Belt. I, I think Rocket Belt would be really, really good. You don't generally want to stay this long in base. The Night Harvester isn't bad. Riftmaker is pointless, in my opinion. Uh, I think Rocket Belt's the best for staying on top of them. It also gives the most stats. It's hard to go wrong with Night Harvester, though. If you have trouble using active items because you forget, just go for Night Harvester. It'd be a lot better. We're going to let them burn out. Let the jungle item do its work. Even though your E is a big execute, does more damage the lower they are in health. It's on a low enough cooldown that against our monster camps, especially the big ones, a lot of times it's worth using early. That way we just got to use it again anyways. Go for Grump. Get a box down. Hit it in the back. E. It's not just your autos, it's also your E. If you're hitting them from behind with your autos or your E, it's doing more damage. That's why when you're chasing them, you try to hold on to your E for as long as possible to get the big execute bonus damage with the backstab on it. Plus, like we talked about, very important, your uh, auto attack slow while your E is ready to use. When it's on cooldown, your auto attacks do not slow. Yeah, his red buffs up. I've been tracking that on the mini map. Bonk. She's going to get ignited. I'm trying to finish off the Kai'Sa. It's not easy. Though my abilities are on cooldown. Got the backstab Dark Harvest. His red buffs up. Oh, I'll go for it. We'll see if there's a control word in this bush. I wasn't really looking when I crossed over. We should be able to kill him. We're moving very, very quick. It should come right over. You might go over there first. We'll send out our R and maul him. Alright, that's fine. We'll have our R tank it and get the low. Got it. Our R blew up on them as well. We should be fine. We're taking a lot of aggro as well. We should have Scuttle and I'll push into his blue buff. That'll be an easy take. Since it's Ramus, he just can't do anything. I'm trying to think if... Like Ramus, Zach, Sejuani, tank style junglers, they just can't fight you. And if it is something more meta, like a Zin Zhao or them, if you have Ignite advantage or Gold advantage, they still can't really fight you if you play it right. Got a box down. She's gonna try to kill me. She's not gonna be able to though. I'll help him push this and then I'll go for Ramus's stuff. It's really easy to do with the water walking, just walking straight over. It looks like it's down, unfortunately. Go for the backstab. Botlane got a kill over there. We can take Harold and stack our gold. I have a feeling they're going to surrender because the early game went so bad for them. The fastest way to make people FF15 is to just eat them alive early. It crushes their spirits and they flame each other. And then no one wants to play. Sometimes there's one person. If like one person's insulted a lot, sometimes they'll just vote no just to spite everybody else. Other than that, it's usually everyone will vote yes because they want to get out of the game. You can go for Ultimate Hunter or Ravenous Hunter. Ravenous has been nerfed quite a bit on AP Shaco. It's not really worth it. So your only two real uh, options for the Hunters is the Relentless. It's really good for ganks and getting around the map. And then Ultimate Hunter is really good on AP Shaco since your art is so much damage. I'm going to go for this set. Gotta get box down. I'm gonna R. Ignite him for the vision. 
Yeah, my R is going to kill him by itself. Blue smite him. He's dead. Seth's very tanky right now. He actually has more items than I have when you look at his items. I'm going to go ahead and reset. I'm sitting on a crap load of gold. We'll grab Rocket Belt. You know what? I'm not going to do Rocket Belt. I'll do Night Harvester. Because I feel like... A lot of people don't know how to use rocket belt very well and they never will because they don't like using activatable items so i'll try to build him the way you guys are going to end up building him plus night harvester is really easy with your e it just gives you the bonus damage per unique champion per 45 seconds on each champ it's very easy Oof! got box down yeah i think night harvester is actually the way to go just one more e and she's dead that's going to be first turret gold and two plates. Two plates plus tur first turret gold is 800 gold. So I'm going to get 400. I went from 700 to 1100 because Vagar split it halfway with me since he was there as well. We're in enemy territory. We're going to try to hold on to our Q. In a very forward position. Like team wants dragon. I'll come for that. Yeah, Predator Vagar is actually really good. I made a video on it. It plays very well with the Jira jungler or support. Basically, if anyone on your team wants to roam, Predator Vagar plays really, really well with that. Really, really, really well. A bit of a late smite on my part. I do not want to give this to Vagar. Really don't want to. Hopefully he doesn't steal any of my camps after that. It's the only reason why I gave it. I hate it when my laner steal my camps. Drop our W. We'll use R to dodge her stuff. Now they can't even turn on me. And my autos are slowing. Get my clone on her. Oof. I got to keep running. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> I thought she had an R. I guess her R is on cooldown. Uh, I kind of want to kill their AD carry. This feels risky, though. This feels so risky. I think we can do it. Except Leona's walking right into us for whatever reason. She's walking through the bush. I was going to kill their AD carry with my sums and... W E Q. It's gonna Q on her. Oh well. We got some more gold. We can reset and get Majais here. It's the only way you're gonna have any scaling into the late game other than your Dark Harvest on Shaco. Is if you can get your Majais and not lose it. We're, then we're gonna get Cosmic Drive second item because Cosmic's really good. I'm actually not a huge fan of Lich Bane on AP Shaco. I think it's very overrated. Because you got to get into melee, and most of your damage is going to be coming from your E anyways. So, it just feels kind of poop. Like, I would rather get uh, Cosmic for the CDR, for the ability haste, and then I'd get Robidon for the damage. I'm not going to be able to chase him. My, my uh, Q is on cooldown. I'm about to die. Got the box down, got to my R on him. I mean, Thresh kind of pulled him into me, though. <laughs> Thresh, I'm going to send my clone that way, and then I'll bring him back over here, and that's all she can see. She doesn't even know I'm here. She's dead. Little Shaco trick for you there. When your clone gets too far away, you'll see a little circle, and that's how you can kind of trick people. Because they, they'll, they'll think that that's you and that your Q just ended and you're trying to fight them. But, oh my. Oh, I'm literally dead. Psych. <laughs> Thank God for Thresh. She's dead. <laughs> oh, what a way to go. At least she's the...
Her, her demise was quick. We're on the award. We're getting a bunch of mana back because we're in the jungle right now. 10 mana back per second. Hit her with the dagger. We'll get our R on her. He'll tank the turret. He's going to blow up. He didn't quite blow up on her, just barely. It's very close. That was almost huge for us. The Leona and Ramus were kind of blocking him off. So my R was tanking turret to kill himself. Kamikaze, basically. That's really what Shaco R is. You're literally trying to like attack them with your R while at the same time killing it so it blows up on them. Big team fight mid. My R is on cooldown. Also farming his camps, so not in a huge hurry to get over there. We'll reset. Can we afford Cosmic? We can't. We'll get Herald then. Even if you have a lot of gold, like at this point in the game, going back to get a Kindling gem isn't really going to change anything, so there's really no reason for me to back. Might as well just stay till we can get our full Cosmic Drive. It has to be something that's actually worth it that's going to change the game. I can solo or still get ridiculous value without backing right now, so therefore backing is just kind of frivolous. It's like if you already have a blender to make your shakes and it works good, right? Like, do you really need to go and get a, a new one to make shakes? Not really, you don't. It's wasteful. I'm going to stay near the wall so he can't kill me. My, yeah, my uh, R is going to cuck her pretty hard. <laughs> AP Shaco is so much fun, man. It's not as consistent as AD Shaco, but if your team needs a AP, if you don't have much magic damage, then you shouldn't go AD Shaco because I'll just stack armor. Like Ramus and Set would just been Giga armor mode. Unkillable. Also, I feel like Predator Shaco wouldn't be half bad. I have to try that sometime. Bonk! She's a goner. Dragon's up. Oh, hey, Ramus. You can try to see. Yeah, you can't queue away if you're on him in melee. Get our W behind him. Our attacks are slowing, and he is a goner. Feels bad. Bonk, 527, yeah, it's decent. Put a box right there, cover our bases. All right, let's go clone. <laughs> I was trying to trick them, I don't think I did. They're, they're playing super far back. I guess we did some damage at least. <laughs> we did a decent amount. Had random into double boxes. I think uh, Ramus is gonna want this. Uh, yeah, I think the control word deactivates my box. It's really weird. It's not supposed to. They're supposed to have to kill it. But uh, when Ramus did that earlier in that super early game fights, it just turned it off and it never attacked him. It was really weird. Sandra's in the area. I'm going to keep laying my boxes. Get him, clone. Almost. Got to play for dragon now. Until I get robbed on, I'm not actually going to be able to really start one tapping them. I'm kind of, almost like a support. Like if my teammates do half their health, I jump in and finish the job. Kind of like a vulture. We are a huge kill stealing machine. You get some boxes in here. R's up in a sec. Oh, the heck. Uh, I'm going to hit you, Leona. You can't just walk up to me like that. It's messed up. 
Get a box down, toss an E, my R kind of kills everything. And my Dark Harvest allows me to keep re-killing. So strong. He's, he's, oh, he shielded my E. Yeah, that has to be GG. There's no way they stick with it. That has to be it, right? They're actually not... Okay, they did. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this AP Shaco Jungle Hyper Carry Guide. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. So we did have the most damage in the game dealt to enemy champions. I'm pretty happy with that because our damage is like all kill damage. There really wasn't much poke damage in there. And damage taken, we took a decent amount, more than most people on our team, including the Thrush. I'm happy with that. Uh, no deaths, very pleased with myself. I didn't blow shut down gold and let the enemies back into the game. Dark Harvest did 2,100 damage, 24 stocks. Cheap Shot did 750, that's actually really good. I can see why AP Shaco doesn't go for sudden impact. Sudden impact takes too long to scale compared to the Cheap Shots, better for early mid game. And then we had uh, just these other runes, which doesn't really tell you what they did. Uh, all in all, really happy with AP Shaco. I can see myself playing more of it.